Republicans and Democrats say they have found agreement on a major controversy. That's news. And that's where we begin tonight. Influential members of the Senate, four from each party, said today they have a breakthrough on comprehensive immigration reform, which would include a pathway to citizenship for 11 million illegal immigrants and tough enforcement of the borders. Immigration is also one of the president's highest priorities for his second term. There are a lot of ways this could fail, but many on Capitol Hill agree tonight it is the best chance in years. Nancy Cordes is at the Capitol with details. Nancy? Scott, these eight senators say they sense an opening on the issue now and a new willingness among Republicans to compromise on immigration after President Obama won the Latino vote by 71% in the November election. The senators behind the plan are a bipartisan group of heavy hitters. New York Democrat Charles Schumer is their unofficial leader. We believe this will be the year Congress finally gets it done. The politics on this issue have been turned upside down. For the first time ever, there's more political risk in opposing immigration reform than in supporting it. Their plan would grant illegal immigrants temporary legal status to stay in the country if they pass a criminal background check, pay a fine and back taxes, and learn English. Good. But they would have to get in the back of the line for citizenship, a process that would only start once border security has been approved with more agents and more drones. In 2007, Republicans brought down a similar plan, arguing it amounted to amnesty. But Arizona's John McCain, who championed reform then and now, says he senses a major shift among his GOP colleagues. You look at the demographics of this country and the rising Hispanic population, and we're not going to win races. You've tried so many times to pass immigration reform. What gives you confidence that this time will be different? Times have changed, Americans have changed, elections have changed. And I'm not saying it's going to be easy, and I'm not saying we're going to succeed this time, but I think the chances are better than they've ever been. He and the other senators say they hope to put this plan into legislation that can be voted on in the Senate by spring, but Scott, already today, a handful of Republicans rushed to the Senate floor to try to put the brakes on this proposal. But Nancy, the, the Senate is one thing. You have to imagine this is going to have a lot of trouble in the House. That's true, Scott, though. Actually, we learned today that a similar move is taking place in the House. A group of Democrats and Republicans working quietly behind the scenes to craft policy that will probably look a lot like what we saw from this group of eight senators today. The real rub is going to be the details. Republicans in particular are going to want assurances that the border security component is real, that it's effective, before they agree to let anyone have legal status. Nancy, thanks very much. Of course, any child born in the United States is automatically an American citizen, and Mexican mothers have for many years crossed the border to give birth for that reason. But John Blackstone, reporting in Los Angeles, has discovered that maternity tourism in America has now caught on with mothers in China. Her name is Ada Lin. She's four months old and the only American citizen in her family. Her parents, who agreed to speak with us if we didn't show their faces, traveled from China to Los Angeles so Ada could be born in America and claim U.S. citizenship. What was your to you got? I want her to live a happy life, her father said. The family is back in China now. They are among thousands of Chinese who've become so-called birth tourists, staying in maternity hotels near Los Angeles. These hotels are often single-family homes in quiet neighborhoods. At least two are in Chino Hills, California, where residents are annoyed at the frequent comings and goings. Chino Hills resident, Rosanna Mitchell. Why does this offend you? When people think of the American dream, they're not thinking about birth tourism. They're thinking about people who come here, uh, immigrate here, work hard, pay their taxes, become citizens, and, and, and become Americans. Ada Lin's family paid $27,000 to a Chinese agency with a website that advertises the advantages of giving birth in America. The agency helps arrange U.S. tourist visas, lodging, and medical care. The practice does not violate federal immigration laws, but it gives Chinese parents the option down the road to have their American children attend U.S. universities or live here.
The win, say having Ada in the United States, allowed them to get around China's one-child policy. It restricts most women from giving birth to more than one child in China. The Lin say that restriction does not apply to Chinese who give birth overseas. This hilltop home was converted into a maternity hotel that housed as many as 30 pregnant Chinese women at a time. It apparently didn't break immigration laws, but local officials managed to close it down, Scott, for violating building codes. John, thank you very much. In Brazil.